Hi. 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 My name is David Kilkenny. Jack Wesley. Lucia Canada. And I love music because. And I love music because. And I love music because. It brings everybody together regardless of any other circumstance. It helps bring back good times. Without it, where would we be? <laughs> I listen to all types of music, like for pop I listen to Beyonce, but then for country I listen to Luke Bryan, and then sometimes when I'm just doing homework I'll listen to people like John Mayer. I came to like that type of music because of all the different people I have met in my life. They kind of just show me what they like, so then I grow to like their type of music too. In the summer, I listen to country music because most of the lyrics in those songs kind of like relate to summer. And then for warming up for like any sport, especially like running, I'll listen to rap songs because they're like more inspirational and like upbeat. I listen to music almost all the time. Like if I don't like when everything's silent, I'd rather have music playing in the background of something I'm doing. I listen to music every day. When I wake up in the morning, I'll turn music on like while I'm getting ready. And then once I have to turn that off, I'll probably be in my car. So I'll turn on the radio or just like connect to my phone. Listening to different types of music all the time um, helps me to see the world in different perspectives, like due to the people singing, like due to the lyrics. Um, it really helps me see the world differently. So after I went on Kairos, um, I made a playlist for my whole retreat to listen to, I guess. But it had all the songs that we either listened to there or songs that would remind us of that time. And it really just helps to remember the good times there that we had and just the people all singing together those songs. Listening to music can help change my entire mood sometimes. When I know I'm sad, I'll listen to happy music just to get my spirits up. And then knowing that singing can actually help your mood increase like happily, I always try to sing to the lyrics also. <laughs> Yeah. All right, what you want to do is you want to go to the clip, the G clef, and count four beats for measure. One, two, three, four. We've got a line here, one and. Now we need a two, three, four, boom, boom, double bar line, you're done. So you go, boom. I first got involved in music um, in fifth grade, playing the trumpet. Um, in the middle school band, and that carried all the way through um, till today, where I still play the trumpet. In all honesty, I don't think there's an instrument out there that I couldn't figure out, and with a short amount of time. Um, I played, like I said, I played trumpet in, in fifth grade, and it, it uh, took me through college and, and into my career. So that's my main instrument. Um, I do have a secondary instrument of uh, saxophone, but there's really not any instrument that I can't play because in college, when you're a music major, they make you take a woodwinds class, which you learn all about clarinet, flute, oboe, bassoon, all the woodwinds. You take a strings class, you take a uh, piano class, you take brass class, you take a percussion class, you take them all. And they're all related in some sort of fashion. So 
the genres of music that I listen to, and I know a lot of people say this, but there's, I listen to everything. Um, if you go on to my, my phone and, and pull up the music folder, you'll find everything from uh, film scores to classical music, hip hop, um, country, uh, top 40. Now, usually when I'm in the car and I don't have anything um, on, on my phone playing and I'm using the radio, it's usually on a top 40 station. So music inspires me in a lot of different ways. Um, as a teacher, I think it inspires me mostly through students and watching their reactions when they do something musically that they probably didn't think they could do earlier. Um, in the digital music classes that I teach, watching a student put together a song um, or a riff even that surprises them of how good it is and how good it comes out or how excited they get when um, they put together a song that they they love and that, that really works out. Um, all the way to the point where, you know, one day I was walking into school and I heard a student playing their their digital music project on their radio or their cars they were pulling in the parking lot and that was pretty cool. And the same thing with the band, when, when a student is struggling with an instrument and wants to figure out how to play it and they work hard at it and to see them grasp it the way that um, I know they can makes me feel good. struggling with figuring out what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, and I was in the, the marching band at the time, and I auditioned for drum major, which is the student conductor of the band, as a sophomore. I made it for my junior year and my senior year, where I was the conductor, and to be able to help students and peers at the time appreciate the music and play it and sound good and come together as one giant group really uh, set a struck, struck a chord with me so I decided that I would take it up in college and had a lot of success with it in college and I'm glad that I made it my my career. One of the Gilmore charisms is inclusivity and that's really the heart of my my music teaching philosophy is inclusivity. All the bands we have whether it be the Pops Ensemble or the middle school band and even really through the digital music courses is it doesn't matter to me what instrument you play or what your your experience level is I would love for you to be part of the program we we have everybody in our band from clarinets and trumpets like you normally see but we also have guitar players we have violin players piano players we even at one point had a bagpipe player play in the, in the band um, and the same thing with digital music is they the only prerequisite for that course is that you like music and as long as you like music you can take the course and be successful in it so really my philosophy in, in one statement is that no matter what your experience level is as long as you have an interest um, we'll take it and run with it and see how far we can go so what I like to do outside of music is technology technology is a huge part of my life um, especially when I'm not making music and then one day it I found a way to use technology to make music and actually went back to school after getting my bachelor's in music education to get my master's in music technology where we learned all about how music is influenced uh, on, the, on the internet, on computers and whatnot and it helped us build the digital music program, audio engineering and uh, there's nothing that, that I find more interesting than trying new software to figure out what I can do with that to, to improve my music or finding new hardware out there like microphones and mixing boards and whatnot to, to put projects together. So to, to combine music and technology has really been uh, a huge part. <laughs>
I listen to every genre of music that is known to man besides country. And even then, there's a few country songs that I like. When I walk around the halls with my earbuds in, it, I feel like it's just so much more different. Mainly because I am, I do feel like I'm, I'm in my own zone, my own zone because of the music. It just kind of puts me in the mood of like whatever I'm doing. Like if I'm like listening to a pump up song, I'm gonna get pumped up, be rowdy, or like, and then like I the flip side, listen to like Mad, Mad World, Sound of Silence. I'm gonna feel like a, like a deep in thought, kind of. Just going to myself. song like Panda then I think that actually just help me focus and just cause like it, it, it's a rhythm maybe if like I'm reading or something or like typing a paper that could help like if I'm listening to a very wordy song with like just a bunch of lyrics in it then I'm probably just like accidentally like focus on the lyrics that's that's no bueno I the way I decide what music I'm going to listen to is I mainly just press shuffle or I have a few new songs that I'm really into and I'll listen to those or I'll sometimes just like search for new music music definitely inspires some sort of like creative like element in me it's just because it's somebody else's like, creation and like it's just a cool concept of like, putting rhythms and beats together and like Making it all sound good. I can just feel like the energy of the music, I guess. Like, it just makes me want to do whatever. Like, if it's like a high beat, high rhythm, I'm like up, I'm just like jumping, feeling good. Or uh, if it's like slow, or like sad, then I like just kind of sit and do, like draw, do art. The music that I listen to, it has to have some sort of in, like influence on art that I do, or else. Because it's just like constantly playing while I'm doing it. So it, like in some, like more or less, it has to have an adverse effect the art that I'm creating but it definitely like I've listened I've definitely like listened to a song and then just like gotten like a, a like a feeling like a dark or like a, like a deep feeling and then like had to try to like convey that emotion and this is art that I made using sketchbook pro a very versatile program so I took a photo using my cellular device um, and then I emailed it to myself, put it in, erased all around it, plopped it in here, painted over it, made it look nice, then added some, some like depth, made, put some ideas and thoughts in there to, to make it good. Uh, these, these black hands are like, um, like depression or like darkness. And then uh, we got like, like contrast, we got like dark like black and red, we got like some blues and whites up here, lighter blues. So it's like very basic, goes from dark to light.
reflects the kind of music we listen to. So if we're always listening to just heavy hardcore rap, we're definitely gonna act different than the someone who listens to just pure like reggae. And then like when you start like mixing those things, then you start to see like somebody and like what they're actually like into, like what maybe they just like music for the music or like maybe they they're just an interesting person. Music can purely affect me. Like I could I just feel it. like when I listen to like a good song, I can just get the like the you feel it in your stomach or like I, I feel just like good. Hi. Hi. My Hi. My name is David Kilkenny. Lucia Kanata. Jack Wesley. And I use music too. And I use music to and I use music to affect my personality every day. To inspire others. Showcase my personality. <laughs> You're not gonna hear the laugh. <laughs> oh! <laughs>